you know, he got his weed brand edible. He got a whole weed brand. Yeah, he got the the, uh, the edible. Yeah. <laughs> the chill up there. Oh yeah, this is a fire, bro. Yeah, we this. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you doing with this one over here? Is it YouTube. Oh, okay, word. This hey, is, bro. yeah, this is, man. How long oh, you been? Oh, move in some. Oh, yeah, bro. Come here. Good, bro. Uh, that I know you've been doing months? the podcast shit for like eight episodes now. Nigga, wait, man. That man had like twenty uh, episodes. Yeah, it was like thirteen episodes. episodes now. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, she just had a little show, like a, a show or something. Like that's Emily. Funny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just she, had a show yesterday. She, yeah, yesterday. She yeah. stays having shows, bro. She had. She's it, the right most now. active motherfucker I know. Actually, like no cap, no kizzy, no bullshit. I think she might be the most active person, bro. Like, I've seen her do two shows in one day. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and she lives in OC, bro. Oh, oh yeah. shit. She lives in OC and she's staying in LA. Facts. All right. This is cool as fuck. So, who put in the studio? Like, who's this through? Oh, uh, the whole shit is this nigga named Blizz. But he just does... Uh, he owns different locations, you feel me? And so before this, I was at another location. And he just runs the locations and the rest of you feel me? He built the studios, custom installed, built everything. Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll scoot over a little bit. Oh, shit. Good? Yeah, I think he good, too. Yeah. Bet. So. Uh, but yeah, this nigga custom built, installed everything, bro. I got respect for that nigga. And I couldn't imagine running all the cores and everything, routing everything, deciding on everything, literally all, like, nigga, I seen this shit before anything was in here. It was a black box. Yeah. <laughs> black box, bro. It's it wasn't tough. even a black box. It wasn't even black. He painted oh, it. Shit, y'all painted oh, over shit, there? Bro. Was it white? Yeah, I can't say y'all. I didn't help, bro. <laughs> I did not help, nigga. I, I came into this shit already situated. You feel me? All I did was pay for it. <laughs> all right, yo. Cheers. You know what I'm saying? So our bright futures. Even at the top. Uh, it was already up. Man. But yeah, what y'all think about this whole Drake and Kendrick shit? Man, to be three. Um, you said to be three. I think <laughs> I think it's too early. Everybody want to get into motion about what's going on, but Kendrick, did he drop the home? He, he ain't drop shit yet. He ain't drop it. That's what I'm saying. Like he ain't drop shit yet. Not yeah, in response. Died, his, his his grace period is uh, coming up, but. I'm just, I'm just waiting. All right, I ain't say who you got. I say what you think about the current situation. Do I think about it? Yeah, I think. I think it's flawed. Why? It ain't flawed. You know, rap beef ain't what it used to be, bro. But how is that making it flawed? Everybody got this team of writers, bro. This shit is flawed. It's, it's like acting. Yeah. To me. Shit, ain't, it's, it's. Yeah, I'm just yes. watching everybody role play. That's what I feel like. You think Kendrick is role playing, bro? So look, I look at things in a different light nowadays. Um, I hate to kill the vibe with this one, but um, I'm kind of like inside looking out now, like seeing how everybody else see it, and I'm watching firsthand how people do stuff in the industry. You know, some stuff I just it just seemed a little too planned planned out. You know, for marketing purposes, you know, numbers and you know how you get people talking about your albums coming out. You make some controversy around it. That's you how I feel. You I hear that 100%. Huh? Yeah, but at the same time, we're going to talk about the lyricism and shit like that. I think Drake got some... Or whoever the fuck is it right there with him with that pen and paper? <laughs> Why does everybody jump to that whenever his name is mentioned? Well, Bro. At, at the end of the day, Drake is amazing. Writers, he has amazing delivery. But how many you other can't artists have writers, though? A lot. When you talk about Whitney Houston, do you jump and well, say, oh, but well, Whitney Houston, Houston Drake are two different things. But I can't, just, I can't just say... Why? I can't just because say Because he's a rapper. He's an MC. For every song, everything he's ever touched is under question. Bro, the pop shit is cool. Pop shit, the singing shit is cool. But when you but start talking about who's the best rapper, but you how have many to have rappers? It. All right, who is Rick Ross? Rick, I don't consider Rick Ross on at the top of the hill like that. But who is Rick Ross? The drug dealer or the rapper? The rapper. <laughs> is Rick Ross considered legendary in any sense? Yeah. Um. Okay. But what is he? That part. He's a writer for yeah. who? Multiple. I look at Ross as a businessman that makes music. How many of the rappers that he wrote for? Who were the rappers he wrote for? I don't know. Do you know? Name specifically, no. Trick Daddy. I know he wrote for Trick Daddy. Is Trick Daddy a legend? Trick Daddy is a legend. 
Why is Trick Daddy a legend? Because he put on. He had Daddy. a writer, nigga. That's why he's a legend. No, he, you just said Drake is not great because he had no, writers. Trick Drake, Daddy's Drake a is great, but Drake, Drake, opinion, Drake cannot be at the listen to, on that listen, list. Listen to this trajectory, though. Okay. You just said Trick Daddy's a legend, right? Trick Daddy is a legend. Someone who wrote for Trick Daddy uh-huh. is Rick Ross, yeah. who's considered iconic. Yes. So we have an icon and a legend yes. who are ghostwriters and writers. Okay. Drake has written for people okay. and has used writers. Mm-hmm. Yet he's disqualified from fitting an icon in a legendary spot? No, he's disqualified from being on the greatest rappers list. He 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 can't be on that list. You can't be one of the greatest rappers. You can't be top five if you don't pin your own shit. But if again, that's the case, get Quinn Miller that top five. Then. Again, though, yeah. how do you know he didn't pin his whole shit? I heard a nigga do his every song. Voice. It doesn't matter. I heard it too, it bro, matter. but it's Go. not every song. Go. Once I hear, once I I hear like whole, once I hear Kendrick argument, with some... That's, I feel like that argument is not completely valid until you sit down and listen to every song and you hear who wrote every single song and then you get to decide. Because that's like, nigga, we have three examples. You feel me? I'm not saying there's not more. Yeah. And I'm not saying my jaw did not hit the fucking floor and I was like, what the fuck? When I heard Quentin, yeah. I was pissed. But then I thought about it. This nigga has over 300 songs. How many songs did he have before he met Quentin Miller? Over a hundred that was out. Yeah. I can't say, oh, this. you feel me? I can't just qualify all of this and everything I liked before. I can question, but that can't knock him completely from his spot, especially if there are other niggas who had writers that are considered legends, and then there's niggas who were writers who are considered legendary artists. Rick Ross is not a legendary rapper. He's yeah. a legendary rapper, rapper, because yeah. he's great at writing. You feel me? The music is beautiful. No, nobody give a fuck about hearing him say it all the time. But if you just listen to the writing, any rapper is gonna say that was smooth. Drake is a legend. I'm not taking that away from Boy. It's mm-hmm. just we. I just said about He's the writing, so. and we it was talking about the beef, and you was like, "This nigga's not the greatest." And it's like, oh. I'm not saying it's not valid. It's just niggas always want to jump to he had writers well, anytime the topic come so up. Like he's the I only nigga. Doing, respectfully, I started doing this shit when uh, MGK and the Eminem thing happened, and I look at the credits. I mean, oh, it's no checking who had writers, and so then, yeah. what I'm saying is that I'm waiting to see how he respond. Now, depending how he created the wait for the disses to have writers. Like, if you have yeah. a writer for the disses, like, that's, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, you shouldn't even diss the nigga. This song, you can't. It's like I'm like I go to you like, bro. I want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Let's shoot the ones. Yeah, and you come back with ten niggas. Yeah, yeah. thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm not, like, come on now. Like that's how I look at it. Yeah. In, a, in an artistic way. You know, it's like, mm, respectfully, you it's can't, like you, your team won. Yeah. Your team won. That's how I look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah, the Drake team won. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. Drake team is winning right now. So, we'll, we'll see. If, if there's a Kendra team and a Drake team, I can fuck with it. Okay, this is cool, man. Let's see, like, who, who got the best work. You know, but I'm not going to look at it like, yo, these two guys got problems with each other. Like, I'm like, this well, I think it is interesting, though, big. with the fact that it's not just Kendrick who was talking shit on music. You it's know a lot me? of people, though. And so it's like, for all them niggas to talk shit... It's kind of weird, though. Is it really just two niggas rapping? No. No, no they keep talking about Drake on these niggas fucking bro, publishing the show. I just saw that uh, yesterday, bro. And I'm like, that's wiggy, 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 wiggy. <laughs> that shit wiggy, wiggy, bro! What did Drake say? About, uh, what did he say? Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. He said, uh, Kendrick got a job and get somebody 50 every time. Top he got, Dog he got is the owner of TDE. He talking about his splits. Like, yeah, Top Dog know. is the owner of TDE. I will say the shit that they come with over there, however Drake come up with his music, I don't know his writing process, but the shit they come up with, it's like undefeated. That's the thing. He's great. Like, he has a good ear. He makes good, catchy music. He's really good at catching those numbers. You keep numbers. your ear listening. Yeah. Bro, and then this nigga was dropping shots on that. Too, like, I was about to say, bro, that whole, if you listen to the diss, I just want you to listen to the diss and count how many lines aren't bars or straight disses. Yeah. There's only like seven. A that lot of that shit was addresses. light though, bruh. Was it? It was light. Was it? It was light. You gotta really it think was, about it. It was light. Because, bro, even the I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan, that's a double entendre. The AI, the AI, the AI this he did with Snoop and uh, Pac. That, that shit's drink? funny. I like that way first, better than I like Drop and Give Me 50. Nah, bro. I swear to God, I do. Drop and Give Me 50. My nigga was, bro, he literally was just sending little backhands to everybody, bro. Like, nah, he he kind of drew He it, came bro. out like 10 niggas, bro. Like I'm saying, line for line, literally from the very beginning. I can never be a nigga number one fan. Straight, 
Direct to a nigga, you feel me? Response to a line. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Direct to multiple of the niggas in the beef. Him and Future was both fucking a bitch named Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Double entendre to start out the gates. Two shots. Boom, boom. To start, nigga. You feel me? And I was like, I'm not going to lie, man. I didn't get this hype about it. Listen to it. I'm like, this shit hard. It wasn't until I was listening and I said, there's not that many lines that aren't straight addresses. Yeah. Or bars. These yeah. other niggas ruined it, bro. Like, all these other niggas. <laughs> Rick Ross. Yeah. Was the Rick Ross still ruined that shit, like, bro. That made me sick to my stomach. Like, no, Kanye <laughs> made me mad, nigga. Kanye ruined it. Because it's like nobody hey, was even yeah. thinking about Ye. Bro, bro I yeah. just heard on the radio, Shorty was talking about, oh, you know, Ye got a lot to do with this. I no, he was out. Kendrick didn't say shit. that nigga name. J. Cole didn't say that name. Yeah. Now this nigga said fuck yeah. Cole and J. I'm like, bro, where the fuck he come out yeah. saying fuck Cole you from? Know, I feel like everybody just got their middle fingers up in the air walking around in circles. Like, I'm like, bro, yeah. what's going on? We was talking about marketing. Unfortunately, for one of the Everybody wants some of that guy, spotlight. I think that's what it that's is That's why I was trying He's to say that. He's just trying to get a little bit of marketing. It might have started off emotions. some real controversy. Or like, he real really real got a problem thing. with Drake, but he was like, oh, this is my moment. Slide in. Yeah. Restart this shit. We all saying our piece about this nigga. Let, Let me speak to too. Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody bro. called that nigga for the we bro. don't trust you. But no, just the concept of we don't trust you and we don't trust you too. Yeah. These niggas mean that shit. Bangers, though, <laughs> Have you heard the album? Not all the way through. I've listened to this songs. Is future and Metro. Bro, there's the yeah. one song with Cole, that Red Leather. The Red Leather? I'm not the biggest Future fan. Hard, bro. I don't Just like, the I don't like Cole's verse, bro. Really? I, yeah. I think Cole's verse is too, uh, it was too... Uh, too soon. Like <laughs> That part. Well, I can agree with that part. I, really I had to take it, the, the concept of it out, and I just caught up in the sound, and then I caught up <laughs> with the message, and I was like... Up until a certain part, because yeah. then it just... People were like, yo, this new Cole verse kind of sound like an apology. And I heard it after reading that. And it's hard to look it's at like, it. Anymore. I do yeah. apologize on Why stage, bro. I don't want to hear you rap. I don't want to hear you rap about a female. Why this nigga apologize? I don't know. He disappointed me. Bro. Yeah, I was going to say, I was just disappointed in my dog. I bro. need a drink for that. He disappointed me, J. Cole is, is actually one of my favorite bro, artists. Bro, same. The same. You know, I'm going to tell you this, bro. For somebody that went through his whole career and ain't really fuck it up. You feel me? I'm going to just let him pass. I'm going to give him a pass. No. I'm going to give him a pass. But but, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to give him a pass, but I would never see him the same. This is why I can't say I'm going to give him a pass is because Seriously, of that reason right there. Because I tried to just listen to the... I couldn't even listen to Red Leather the same. Hearing this nigga, people were just like, yo, listen to any time this nigga claimed to be the greatest, the best rapper MC, I can never enjoy again. You can't. Or I can never take it serious. One of the two. It's the Slim Jesus effect, bro. Bro. It's so sad. It's the Slim Jesus effect. Because Cole's a man. But hold up. How can we give Ross a pass, but we don't give Cole a pass? It's not that we give Ross a pass. No, it's that we, we don't Ross give a, a fuck. Nah, Ross got a pass. He got a pass. He got a, a pass, pass what? from being exposed from his past, bro. Well, oh, being a CO? Yeah. Nah, that I mean, part, I like, think the reason he got a pass for me is because by the time I knew, I was this nigga was already cemented. Like, I, I mean, was a young nigga, and it became, like, older, like, 18, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? No, no, no. It's too late. Bro, I've been making music, writing music since I was 13 and recording since I was 17. So, like, paying attention to the game and how people move, bro. There's a lot of shit that people do to build their brand that's not fucking organic. It's not real. They, bro, they literally, it's at the point now where you, your brand can just be totally disassociated from you and people will still fuck with you. You know what's crazy? Drake was actually being real nice to Rick Ross. Man, he didn't say shit Look, to that man. That's bro. what I, he said. That's I can't believe he's coming in he almost 50. Nah, I, then he says, spend a little check you got and say about my business. I thought that was hard. I'm not going to lie. Was that was hard. I thought that was hard. But it's hard. still not that disrespectful. Yeah, no, it wasn't. The, the only white boy, white boy. The only disrespectful <laughs> is every number one you got on the chart that came from Drizzy. Yeah. But it's still factual. I mean, he ain't lied over. But this is what I, I was just saying. I think that was disrespectful. Because it's factual. It's facts. And so, what you just saying, what you did, this nigga really could have came at his whole character. Yeah. Yeah, Rick Ross, I have but no clue I mean, why, you why would shit. you? It's already been done. I no, think that, I think at this point, and also, the creativity comes into play. I don't think Drake wanted to go at that nigga like that. Well, he can't go at Ross. He for just doing didn't want to address it. I mean, like, once, you, address. once you go into Ross's past, then you really want to go into Drake's past. Like I didn't think about that either. He Drake don't want to go into nobody's past, bro. Just, yeah. yeah, nah. But yeah, Rick jumping in that shit, I did not expect that. This I loved it. 
I loved it. I like the idea of it. Outside of Chris Brown's Diss to Quavo, that Ross diss was. Bro! Fuck all these niggas, Chris Brown! <laughs> Chris Brown! I ain't expecting. Pass hey, off! That's a VA nigga, man. Bro, he that nigga said, hmm. You know, I Shit it! Yeah. Bro, oh, no, it's Chris the best Brown, that, yeah. I swear I'm gonna have to go check it out. When it comes to tone, aggression, and pulling cards, all three. It's better than Because Drake, better, yeah. he didn't have a. He had the <laughs> Drake's cool. aggression tone is not the same as like a. It's up tone. Like, yeah. you would not have thought Chris Brown was dancing Chris Brown. And he even said, you just got body by the singing nigga. Yeah. Bro, this. He said, we all wished it was you. Damn. Oh, whoa. I thought it was... Yeah, that kind of... It was the Nigga, that hurt me. Fun, I swear to God. Literally, I was... Oh. Oh, he felt that. And then it kept going. I thought that was about to be the end of the song. No, he kept going. You trying to really sit on that. <laughs> the beat lulled a little bit, bro. Everybody wish it was you. Damn. Ah! So, no! I feel like everybody doing something. Yo, if you got a problem <laughs> with anybody right now, bro, Let it be known now why this Drake is getting to that, This year in 2024, you got a problem with somebody, bro, you got to address it. Because everybody doing it anyway. This is the new wave now. Bro. Shit. Nikki so you and uh, you stole they, my, they you stole, set it off, bro. You stole my water, bro? It's up. Bro. Are, they my water. Water. <laughs> Are they beefing right now? They was, beef, they was the first beef of 2024. They set this shit off. Oh, I didn't even know. And then, it's a chain, like a chain effect right now. Yeah. Bro. But they say it's the Royal Rumble of rap. Yeah. Everybody that's jumping like. into some shit. The thing is, unfortunately, I feel like everyone who shot at Drake, except for Kendrick, shouldn't have done it. Just because it don't matter in the end of the day. All right, let's go. Drake or Travis, who will win? Man, Drake. Drake? The yeah. fuck out of here. Travis. Drake and ASAP. ASAP is the only nigga who might get some shots off, but Drake. Okay. Yeah. Drake of the weekend. Next. Come on now. Come on, bro. Uh, next. Uh, look, we, look, we got a... Cash spinning nigga bread out here tripping. Yeah, that was... Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Jets chains with Jets. wicked, wicked, wicked. That was... You boys ain't nasty. even from the six. What? When yeah, you got nasty. rich, you had to leave that bitch? Nigga, Yo. no. Fuck out of here. Drake of future. Drizzy. You think you think Drake will win over Future? I think Future what, got the what? streets, bro. What, what, what are we talking streets. about? What are we talking about in order to like, win beef. lose? Just in a, a beef? beef? Yeah. Bro, when it comes to the music, like a track, Drake. Trolling, Drake. Support. You think Drake, Drake. made better music than Future? Yes. I think Drake made more music that's for everybody than Drake. Yeah. Probably than uh, Future. Because that, you gotta think about it, man. This dude, he's um, his style is so universal, bro. It can go with foot into any genre. Like future isn't limited, but he's not as versatile as that. Exactly. Bro. Drake he, can do. He, he has this something. convincing, this convincing uh, sound. Drake is able you know to saying? do something to catch the attention of people who like future before future is able to do something to catch the attention of people who like Drake. I think image wise, um, future got him. When you just talk about the large pool of people, you feel me? Yeah. It's um, like, I know Asian bitches that like Drake. You feel me? I know, I guess now nah, I think about it though, it's just a lot of bitches, for real. Every type of female has one Drake song she likes. And all niggas like multiple types of females. Yeah. We like what they like. It's inevitable. So even if you Probably don't like Drake, there's one knows. or two Drake songs you do like. You feel me? When it comes to future... You're not going to make people who don't like that type of shit like it. Yeah. Yeah. Drake would change his whole shit. I better find you. I love. mean, but Future got the fucking R&B shit on lock, too. I mean, R&B some... Future is fire, bro. I'm not saying it's not. I did I'm like going to say I, I think I did like I don't, uh, has don't a, trust you too, though. a bigger yeah. reach. That fuck, the intro on that, that album is one of the best songs I've heard in a long yeah. time. I'm going to be honest, yeah. bro. Future does it not do shit for me, like... Eight out of ten times. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Uh, he got probably five verses that I've ever really... There's not many times I've ran back a future verse. Nah, future. Future's that dude, bro. That whole dirty Sprite, fucking Purple Rain. All that shit is fire, well, see, bro. We're from the same city, though, so it's kind of like, for me, I grew up listening to future. So it's yeah. kind of biased. For me, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to be biased about shit. But, but she used to give me you know, 
It used to give you a headache. I will say this though. <laughs> Literally, uh, I couldn't. Changing the culture wise, bro, Future definitely set a big ass way. I can agree with that. I won't deny that at all. Yeah, that's what made him iconic. Um, I think Drake just really just. I don't know. He started something too. He did the whole singing and rapping thing. Like he really conquered that. He didn't start that. No, he didn't start it. He really conquered that. Yeah. Like, you see, how I switched the word. He conquered it. When I say that, he just did it so well. People were like, "Have y'all heard him and Bad Bunny, bro?" No, the, no, no, I like that Mia song they did. Nigga. I like that joke. What is he called? It's called Mia. That bitch. Yo, it's you know what? Like he bodied that. Bro, niggas in the comments were like, why he do that? On Bad Bunny own song. That's what we need to do language. more in like hip hop. Like bring bro. hip hop and our reggae tone together. I think yeah. that's yeah, I see that's right the here. next lane, bro. Yeah, I just heard it yeah. yesterday for the first time. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm and, both th- that I was in the car, nigga. I started reading the lyrics because I was like, this shit sounds smooth. And I didn't know when Drake came in. Like, I know Bad Bunny, you feel me, in Spanish. So, like, the song started and I was like, it got halfway through. I was like, where's the feature? <laughs> hey, Damn. that nigga did what he needed to do, bro. Yeah. He did his job on that shit as an artist, nah. musician, period. That's the thing. Even if he Drake, ain't write it. Drake is a great, <laughs> he's a great artist. I would never take that away from him. He's a great artist. And I... I just think when we start talking about the best rapper of all time, when we start talking about goat talk, yeah. he gets disqualified. He can't be in the goat talk just because of that. And look, if if it came out tomorrow that that whole if it came out tomorrow that Nas, if it came out tomorrow you that get discredited for a lot of shit, bro. You do some of the writers. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I mean, it's the, you know, that's, that's the original culture, like, hip-hop and rap, bro, is based off of your individual talent, bro. You gotta understand that. And then, like, if you... Was it, though? I uh, mean... Easy e What the fuck did that nigga write? No, nobody considers no, Easy e as the But he just said the culture, nigga. These niggas started the culture, you feel me? Well, you gotta think, when, I'm, when I say the culture, I'm talking about the culture of rapping. Like, not... Like, what you say out of your mouth, is it coming from your shit? Or did you have help with that? Like, like I told you, bro. Nigga, if I if I got a fist, the street and you got a fist, and he got a fist, and we all hit this nigga together. Everybody gonna slap that shit. They but that's why that's why it. Ice Cube is considered one of the goats. Ice Cube know. wrote his shit. Ice Cube wrote easy shit. It's like to a certain degree, I can agree. I understand. I feel like what it is for me is just like just from the very beginning. Of hearing this nigga shit, I was just like, yo, this shit hard. And so even when that shit came out, I was just like, will we ever know who really pinned any of this shit? No, you won't. That's the thing. So how can I disqualify all the other because shit? Because his came out. It's like... <laughs> I it's so like, hard bro. for me to disqualify no, no. all the other shit off of one thing. Look, his came out. All these other niggas are slick and so... <laughs> But even that nigga know. himself said, I think it's funny how y'all let me take all the slack over that Casper the Friendly Ghost shit. Mm. <laughs> <Why? Yeah. laughs> then when he dis pushed a T, he said, if that's what you think of me, then what do you think about the you feel me? But we nobody just, considers Kanye a goat nobody, rapper. Nobody who considered no, bro, bro. So if, you, if you if you consider Kanye, Kanye as one of the greatest rappers of all time, no, then so, then you're not in hip hop, bro. What are we talking you don't about? Understand? Because like my thing is, I can say he one of the best artists. Yes, he's, he's, not, no, he's not a rapper. <laughs> he's a, I, bro, I, that's I, something I go, go. I wouldn't say best rapper. I hear you because that's based off of what he's saying in his yeah, bars. Yeah, no, and that's something I was just thinking about the other day. Is just like even if we talk about Jay Z, yeah, is Jay Z really? One of the greatest rappers? Yes. Really? Yes. Is he a rapper? He is. He's an MC. Is he? Yes. He He's a businessman. Okay. Well, no, I mean, he didn't no, those two things way. are separate. Oh, you feel me? Are you rap, right? You rap? Right. Do you rap? I do. You have a business? Right. You're a businessman and a rapper. You feel me? But what was I first? Before I ever started the business, I was writing lyrics. So, so Jay Z's a drug dealer. What are we talking about, Frank? Right exactly. What are we talking about? You feel me? Because it's like, all right. I was like, all right. Ye is a producer. Yeah. So even if that nigga gets thrown into the greatest of all times list, should it even be as a rapper? No. He's a producer who's great at rapping. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And so I was like, so what about Jay Z? He's a businessman 
Because not even just drug dealing, champagne, clothes, sports, nightclubs, you feel me? Entrepreneurship in general. Music was that nigga's avenue. He was already over a million hundred or a hundred million strong. You feel me? By the time he came into rap. 99 to be exact. <laughs> you silly. So it's like, did that nigga do it out of the love for wanting to be a musician? Or did he do it out of the hunger for seeing the business mind of it? Because he left rap and took it way further. I'm not saying I know, but it's like, to his, I don't know. But I it's think like, Hove would call himself, he called himself the greatest rapper alive. He, pe- he coined himself a rapper. And this is another thing I was thinking about, though, because it was man. after I was listening to Wack 100 talk about Kendrick yeah. and Kendrick really being thoroughbred, hip-hop, like, grassroots about it and other rappers. And I'm like, huh, very interesting. Because, like, Wayne, we mm-hmm. all know Wayne been in the studio since a kid. Yeah. He's a rapper. Yeah. You feel me? Undoubtedly. He made so many damn songs, bro. <laughs> this nigga probably, I still think to this day, he made the most songs out of anybody. Bro, this nigga has over a thousand know. songs out. Yeah. Bro. Nah, that's a low crazy. number. Well, a thousand is even low. No, I know it is. Like, I forget what the number is. I watched the video where he literally said the shit himself, bro. I don't think he even knows. That's how much. At that's point, how many probably not no is, more. Bro. You feel me? Like, he just said, fuck it. I'm not even counting. Get to that point, bro. Uh, even Travis Scott. Travis Scott's not a rapper, he's a producer who raps. I was going to say, Travis, I can always tell when somebody's <coughs> main thing is to rap. Yeah. Travis Gambino is an actor. You can tell, but I'm going to tell writer. you, I won't say Drake thing, main thing isn't to rap. It is. And that's what but I was thinking, too. I'm, I'm going to tell you, an actor, he but... got to a point where he cared about money more than rap. And that's just but really what it is. the thing is, is. told us that. Yeah. Well, I would have had so I'm not mad at him, but when people and ask and me a question about putting him in these categories of rap, and I tell them, like, I don't consider him a rapper a rapper anymore. I feel you. Did he rap at one point? Yes, bro, he, you can be He's somewhere like and then Malone. do something else. Like, Jay-Z's no longer a rapper to me. I hear you. But can he rap? Yes, he yeah. can. And Post but, Malone said he was never a rapper. Cuss that way from Post Malone. That shit got me so hot. Yeah, nah, that shit got me so hot. After you go and pick good. up multiple rap album, and or not rap album, but rap accolades and bro, awards. He might have been talking about you the... Can't uh, come in, you can't come into the culture using the culture. And yeah, then, yeah. And then this, as soon as he was that, ready to do that something that fucking, else, uh, but I'm not a rapper. Shit, bro. But yeah. I'm not a rapper. That, Nigga, I don't, I don't respect it. Say this is not what I want to be categorized as, or this is not no, all. No, this nigga literally as, said, like, if you want to feel something, listen to country and rock. Don't listen to hip hop. This nigga was talking yeah, about you can't know. feel shit. Your head that's, is out. This you said what? That's kind of a that's a blow. That's a blow, that's a blow to the game. Man. <laughs> your head wasn't in it. Oh shit, nigga, the headless horseman. Yeah, right. That's a that's a blow to the oh, game. You can't, you can't do it like that, bro. Yeah, no. Nah, when I saw that shit, that shit had me when, high, when it benef- When it benefits you... Then you're a rapper. Yeah. yeah when you yeah. win in these rap awards, you come into the BET awards. And then you like, got rappers all... I mean, well, you on got your rappers songs. Your you, song. you can have a rapper on your song. I was... The music, don't give a fuck. Any, I don't care shit about nothing other than when this nigga said, but I'm not a rapper. What do y'all they cons- get an awards back. What do y'all... Think? I know, right? What do y'all <laughs> consider his music, though? His music? I'm not the biggest fan. Pop, rock. No, like genre Oh, wise. what do I consider it? Yeah, he's a pop artist. Pop it's rock. so hard to pop distinguish rock. pop between Yeah, I was thinking that too. I never actually ever considered him a rapper. Did y'all, did y'all listen to uh, the Beyonce album? The country one? Yeah. I'm not. The reason I ask is because Post is on that album. Supposedly, I haven't heard it. The marketing. I might look. I might listen to it for uh, educational purposes. But I don't know. <laughs> right, you feel me? I'm not the I'm, biggest Beyonce fan. I'm not either. Yeah. Um, She's talented as fuck. Yeah, she is. I don't want to hear I was having this conversation with, the, with one of my friends earlier. Uh, Bob Marley, he he touched like a whole fucking generation of people. Michael Jackson was the last one to really move a whole country. Was there anybody that's been as influential and as big as Mike? You know, I think uh, they, you got to think about eras Drake. and times and what people. You have. think Drake? Drake? I do. I do. No, <laughs> really, I do. Drake yeah. can go anywhere in the world. Yeah, Everybody will know him. Show. And he will sell out. This nigga said that he hasn't yeah, been no. anywhere. Is that, it, but. Look. When we talk about emotional connection to the person, uh, I think before we had all this like lives and all of this stuff where we can go across the internet, I think it's amazing that the artists that did it before them because oh did it that to big to have that you people know you That's without crazy. all the resources yeah to know you and they still knew about you. Do you get what I'm family? saying? I don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's the same conversation I have with people when they talk about LeBron and Jordan. Like I don't do that. These are two different eras. I hear music. 
I'm not going to compare Luchi to uh, Goldie Rogers. Why? Because it's two different eras. Like, things are different. You have different, you accept, different things are accessible, bro. Like, But, you know, to answer the question, if we had to pick a motherfucker, it would be Drake. Oh, yeah. And also yeah. gay, bro. Drake, yeah. oh, and yeah. that's Drake the reason why Kanye is so relevant and gets thrown up is because he does have that reach across the globe when it comes to his music because his production transcends hip hop and rap. Okay, let me uh, let me clear myself a little bit more. I don't mean reach because I mean mm-hmm. with, with reach you can get hella reach. Well, you saying you can get Michael Jackson reach with TikTok? You're saying it's impact similar to Michael Jackson? Yeah, and like the no. way the way Bob Marley fucking they're not Marleys, bro. But no, no they're not Marley. No, but what I'm saying, look, you got Bob Marley, Michael Jackson. It's a certain type. I of... I don't feel like Marley. At least when I think about Michael Jackson and mm-hmm. I think about Marley. I don't take away the same aspect okay. of the greatness, you feel me? Because Bob Marley was also known as like an abstract thinker. And he also was Rastafari, you feel mm-hmm. me? And that went heavy in the music, his beliefs, and everything he did, which leans into religion. Yeah. Mike didn't do that. So you think you think Bob Marley manipulated religion? No. <laughs> I'm saying he spoke from his heart, which was heavily rooted I, 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 in his religious beliefs. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Michael Jackson, even if he did so, mm-hmm. he spoke more about the essence of belief, humanity, and being you. You yeah. feel me? And so it was like the inspiration aspect, yes, but the actual impact, they were impacting the emotions separately. You feel me? They weren't like the way Michael Jackson might have impacted somebody spiritually wasn't intentionally the same way that Bob Marley wanted to. You feel me? Yeah. I definitely think the impact, though, back then was different, though. Like, that artists have on people. And you got to think, we also in an era where, bro, everybody can make your music now. Yeah. Before, it wasn't that easy. They were stars, special, different. Yeah, so, like, now you have so many artists. People are very divided when mm-hmm. it comes to, like, who they support. Yeah. And then how much the support means, bro. Like That part, too. Support meant way more yeah. back then because, yo, there's only so many artists now. It's like, and it was bro. like, I like this person because they speak for me. Niggas yeah, listen yeah. to NBA Youngboy and they don't represent nothing that nigga do talk about look like or not, nigga. Is the music get them turned? I'm finding a new artist like every week, low key. Like I'm just like, okay, just to hear new different sounds, like to be like, oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. But then sometimes I'm like, at this point, we had the same conversation about weed, bro. I smoked weed when you. It was hard to get. I, when I had when I had the best plug. You feel me? It's like mid seven to have gas. I'll pass up a blunt and joint like but back then i would be like let me taste it one time yo let me shit I'm, see what it I'm is i'm in the rotation every time why because it's scarce you know when things are scarce it's worth more yeah you know that so it's the similar aspect to it yeah drake is huge but like that's the only two people we got like well not two people but like that's one of the only two people we got out of like a limited amount no yeah you know but, what i mean like rihanna would be one of them too though yeah yeah, yeah. rihanna could go anywhere and everybody's gonna know oh shit rihanna, so who's, like, who's bigger rihanna or drake impact wise drake Oh, you know what? Oh, 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 I was going to say. Wait, hold on. My bad, my bad. Makeup, no. clothes. No. She's influenced the whole way that mm-hmm. men respond to women because she's influenced the way women perceive and behave. Rihanna. Ah! Yeah. has more imp- impact on, uh, like, as a whole. As a whole. Yeah, but on the game, Drake has more impact. I feel as like. music rappers. Music, yeah. Well, you talking about the Drake game, nigga, impact. shit. That's a whole other game. You feel me? Yeah. Outside of music, just still women, the relationships. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Uh, no, like, he don't start no fashion trends for real, like, on a serious no. note. He just... Maybe he not for like, America. He might in Canada. I mean, look, Maybe some he, world, but like, the, I, the I don't fucking see Jordans he came out with? His J's do go. That's, Is it overheating? I don't know. I think so. And then, um, Live age restricted. Keep the young niggas out. But now that... You seen uh the first... The Kentucky Blue Jordans... Like, it was the first one. He's not some German now. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, yeah. as far as uh, <laughs> trends of uh, fashion. Yeah, I don't you know what I'm saying? Like, trends. Trends. Yeah, starting the trend and the, stuff like that in fashion world. Like, the thing is, I don't think that was real, a goal. No, it wasn't. But what I'm saying is, like, you got to think oh, of Rihanna these aspects. Does. Rihanna yeah. does have that. No, 100%. She does have, like. The makeup. Yeah. Bro, she has a billion women behind her. The fuck else you need? In, yeah, in the women's <laughs> category. You don't need nothing else. In a women's category. Nothing else. Women run the world. What I also, also, the way women act, the way they perceive, affects the way we interact with them. Yeah, true. They changing yeah. the whole, that's yeah. changing the whole scape of things. Yes, yeah, that's true. This nigga's music changed. 
depending on how he felt about Rihanna at a certain point in time. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but at the end of the day, that just goes to let any dude out there listening who didn't already realize these women have way more power than we think that they do. I'm not saying good, not saying bad. I'm just saying a lot of us Man, are disillusioned to it. Women can start a whole beef in, the, in, in any in any situation, bro. And come out untouched. The whole situation fall apart and they come out looking better. I be seeing like uh, a lot of situations I'm like, I bet you started over. It. So, <laughs> and I said it about this one too. And then that, lo and behold, this motherfucker came up. Bro. I was like... I remember, I like, do. the first two, three days it dropped, and I saw the button shit, and he was like, bro, ain't no way this is all just over females. Like, you're dealing with rich niggas, high-class dudes who are used to, you know, sharing girls or knowing another nigga who know her. Like, for all this to have started over women sounds asinine to me. And I was like, you know what, that, that's true. It wasn't just that, though. Right. So, this nigga be, just said. He be, owned a masters. Be, or no, be, okay, so look at this aspect, too, being from Atlanta. Y'all know Future and Drake didn't work together on like projects. And yeah, I like when they work together though. They make Bro, to me so with you. Some of my favorite Drake's, a lot of my favorite Drake songs, and a lot of our favorite Drake songs are songs he made with Future. Like mm, Life is Good, Bro. No, I didn't like that. You didn't like Life is Good. No, I'm just saying their joint what? album. I didn't like that whole album. What is well, the joint that? albums aren't it, always. It has some, yeah. Not all yeah. the way through, but I'm saying there's going to be a song that goes top. I hear Every you. Time Some's gonna go number future, one. Future, future yeah. Drake is like Ross and Drake. They just make good they just, music They make good music. They make good music yeah. together. So when, I don't like when, when it happened, I was like, they do make good songs. You feel me? <laughs> they do. Their songs, there's like, when they're on projects, I don't really give yeah. a fuck. But when it's like other people's tapes or shit and they're on it, always. They or make, if it's those two and somebody else, always. So, um, when, it, when that situation happened, I was like, it gotta be over. Female, and some money. The so, thing is, there was Loki not seeing eye to eye way before that. Yeah. Even with the first project they did together, Future had done some interviews where he was like, he said straight out, fuck him. But he was like, I don't know, man. When asked like, yo, how you feel about like Drake and your him your relationship? Because for a certain music video, Drake was in a song and he didn't come to the video. Tony Montana. Future didn't fuck Tony with that. Montana. And then but that was a long time ago, bro. The song you started talking about Tony Montana, are you? Well, yeah. no, that uh, it might have been Drake didn't show up for the video. For no, that. that big out, that big but out. Nah, and then uh, started. after that, what was it? Started from the bottom. Yeah, he was salty about started from the bottom because he felt like he should have got some of the publishing. Because in the studio, when he wanted to start from the top, he said started from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And so in the interview, he also was like, "Man, he gave me a bottle. I feel like I should have got some publishing." You yeah. feel me? So I'm not saying like that's the reason. But it's like, nigga, even if, say, all right, me and you fall out three times. Yeah, yeah. Always make up. Okay. We fall out three more times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you she, feel me, bro? Like, it's like, are we really falling out or are you just really not my nigga? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah nah, that's facts, though. That's facts. And so, you what would Pluto do? We fuck that bitch, so I did it. Whoa, Pluto, do he fuck that bitch? So I did it. I don't know. He said that, Pluto was definitely fucking shit, on his bro. bitch. That he said Pluto shit, though, was bro. definitely fucking his bitch, so I fucked her. Don't don't be telling niggas I'm fucking this bitch. Keep it on the low. You don't know how many niggas are not bro. Bitch. I'm not gonna lie, that shit had me rolling. The whole song after this shit, Damn. and I listened to it, I was like, hold up. Yeah. This nigga said Pluto definitely fucking on his bitch. So I hit it, or so I did it. Pillow like, tugs and like a fed dog. You feel me? I don't even know and so the it's like, dog. I hear everything you just said about that was past shit. Yeah. But it's like, all right, so I ain't fuck with the way you acted with that. I ain't fucking with how you just didn't give me no credit for the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You also, you feel me, you doing, I it's, don't know. It's it go both ways because it's also yeah. like, eh. Oh, I mean, I'm not giving, I'm not giving that motherfucker no slight, bro. I'm just saying, nah, like, you, I'm looking you. at, the, I'm looking at the whole picture. Trying to see all angles, all so angles. I think it really was about money, though, because at the end of the day, I think uh, what happened was the conversation. This is how shit be playing out. Two Atlanta artists, right? You got Twenty One Savage, right? Y'all know they did that whole. Nah, thing, yeah. Right. So we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. <laughs> so you good? Fucking. 21 Savage and him did an album. I think during that time, they was talking and instead of him working from him, you got to think, Atlanta fan base, the streets and shit like that, touching on that base with Drake. That was, that was a no, solid yeah. connection, right? That nigga was solid. So I feel like 
Future might might have felt like he was getting replaced by Twenty One Savage. No, one hundred percent. It was like, yo, bro, so you gonna work with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. What, but you ain't want to work with me though, and we could. He know that would have been good for the money for both of them. Do you think? You know what I'm saying? So he probably felt some type of way. It was like, but my thing is, bro, you open to work with everybody, and I'm just no, saying I, exactly some stuff I kind of heard through the great bonds and shit. Do you but, think that the fact that Drake and Metro are beefing it kind of like? I mean, it put Future in a weird place, and I won't say a lot clearly. I won't say I think it put him in a weird place because if he felt weird, he wouldn't have did the album. Yeah, but that's his brother. Like, you no, know, you nigga, my brother. No, you like, you fuck that. With I think thing, he already right? weird had his own place, reason. nigga. No, did it maybe add some fuel to the fire? Yeah. Whereas, like, yeah. this nigga also earing out his beef, and he's not even telling me to be mad. But I also felt the same shit. You feel me? Yes. I can see that happening. Cause I'm like, yo, this nigga over here tripping. He's yeah. like, yo, I'm not the only one who thinks this nigga tripping. Yeah, yeah. This nigga tripping. You feel me? Like, I understand that aspect 100. Yeah. So I've been waiting to get at this bro, nigga, bro. How do you think that came about? Like, bro, like no they clue. beef was quiet, bro, and then next thing you know, you got Kendrick. But how oh. do you think they get Kendrick and ASAP and Ross and all these niggas to be Bro, like, I mean, I guess with the first one, I don't know. Because I don't know, Metro must have hit them niggas yeah, up. Yeah, he had to, bro. <laughs> but, but, I'm, look, I'm Metro, right? Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm beat for you. All you got to say is some fuck, some shit about this. I intro. wonder if they even said <laughs> that, though. Because, you know, Metro, Metro ain't no rapper, but guess what? He know all the rappers. Yeah. But I wonder if he Let me see who else got, I know who else got smoke with this nigga. <laughs> fuck that, bro. I'm going to get all these niggas on your head. Was, like, sent out the that's the thing I want to know, bro. He, like, that's a conversation. That's a real conversation. But if that's bro. the case, if that's the case... He put him in what did he say to get Cole on this shit? Because he had already done first person shooter. Dog, that's I can't believe that shit. I hate Bro this nigga. Cole, bro. I love you, my nigga. I and can't... that shit hurt my soul, bro. I don't understand. I'm so confused. I'm perplexed. Like, I understand I wanted to beef with Dot. But to say I'm sorry and I didn't mean it? Yeah. I didn't mean it? Why the fuck you say it? I can't rationalize that. I yeah, didn't bro. mean it is what got me. <laughs> yeah. No, Same. bro, it's like this, my nigga. No, you jumped out there. Bro. It's one thing if you didn't jump out there, my nigga. You jumped out there. Nobody you asked nigga, you for the single, single bro. Nobody, like even, you feel me? Yeah. Nigga nobody. was wondering, but nobody asked. Hey, you better no. That's yeah. crazy, though. This I, is how I felt. That was some whole I'm, shit. I'm scared to go look. Look, I felt like because these niggas. I had so much respect for him. I'm bro. like, damn, bro, don't let me lose respect for you, bro. I'm not. It's so, so hard to say I haven't because I don't want to. But it's just so it just it hurts. My I'm favorite. Like, it just feels weird. My I'm not, favorite. I'm not Cole. Like this Man, I started my whole rap career. I am not a Cole? battle rapper. No, bro. Oh. I'm not a thug, hard nigga. None of that shit, bro. I started my whole shit battle rapping, niggas, bro. Yeah, yeah. One on one is you never say sorry for none of the shit you said, unless you really yeah. said some foul shit, and you know you shouldn't have, and you about to get fucked up. I've never apologized rapping against nobody for saying nothing. Even Bro, when it was my cousin yes. and we aired out family business. We both looked at each other and said, damn, nigga, we shouldn't have said that shit. You right. I didn't apologize. Yeah. It was the truth. Yeah. This nigga let us know he was not speaking the truth. He didn't believe it. He didn't believe it. It was not real. Cause if it's real, you don't apologize. You gotta come back and talk about this shit some more, though. He can't. He can't come back and say shit. Don't say shit. He can't bro. say he nothing can't. else. I, I don't know what the fuck's supposed to do. He can't say nothing else. I don't. All he can do is continue to rap and hope it still get bought. That's it. All he can yeah. do is continue to rap and impress us. He put himself in a weird situation, though. Especially, bro. You know the game, bro. What the fuck you doing? And that's the thing. I don't, like, I don't understand. It's so weird to me. So he, it was weird. I would expect that from somebody like Lil Yachty. You feel me? But like. You know, a little like, nigga who don't got bars. Another thing that shit, also rubbed me wrong though is this nigga said if you want attention, then come with extensions. Cole, why you say that? Bro, <laughs> my favorite J. Cole verse. Man, the song is hard too. That was the But fuck why did he say that? Johnny, the joint he did with Benny the Butcher, Johnny B. Scatter. This Johnny shit hard, B. Bro. Scatty. Bro. Yeah. yeah that Everything is hard, Cole bro. touches. This hard, nigga bro. said, put your favorite rapper's neck in the news, never letting them loose. And he let and this nigga loose before he even responded. You can't talk, I'm the best. You can't you talk can't that. Let a nigga step in front of me, he gonna get his head knocked off. He said they and wonder then, who the yeah. greatest MC. Right now, I feel like Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali never said sorry, nigga. 
No, he didn't. What? I was going through history. He didn't say that. What? <laughs> and so this is how, I, this is what I feel like. Muhammad Ali, right? Yeah. He said, step in the ring, right? I feel like we had two fighters go through their warm-ups, get dressed, put on their shorts, their robes, their gloves, walk out to the ring. Yeah, bro. And Kendrick, when they was going to their corners, shoulder checked this nigga. And he turned around and punched him in the mouth. Referee split him out. And then he said, never mind, I don't want to fight. You ever see the fight of the nigga when they started? As soon as the bell rang, the nigga just walked out the ring? That's what J. Cole did. <laughs> yeah. But nigga, you just, you, you just let out the most aggression. That's what I'm saying. And you then said, never out. mind? Yeah, no, nah, man. You got to go some through bullshit, it. Bro. It, was a, it was a lack of commitment in that in that motion right there, bro. Yeah, bro. And that, that's something I can't respect, thing. bro. Like, if, I, if I'm going through with a plan, bro. I got to follow through. Yeah, I got to see it to the end. Like, I can't just turn my back and be like, all right, well, fuck, bro. I, I didn't mean to do that, so I'm going to go back over here. Maybe he thought... Go back thought, on my word and shit like that. It's just kind of like... Maybe he thought, all right, I can't leave it out of answer because then that make me a hoe. But I also don't want to do this whole rap beef shit, so I responded and then I shit, jumped out. You shouldn't have said shit, bro. That, yeah. You shouldn't have said shit. My mother told me when I was young, don't pull it if you ain't going to blow it. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah Don't pull exactly. the finger blow. So, like, that's what the nigga did. The nigga pulled the strap out, bust out the I'm about to say, he, he didn't even did. tuck it first. He blew Duh. one. Duh, he pulled the strap out and he shot into the yeah. air. That's what? all this nigga did. Cole. Cole. <laughs> I hate Cole, this nigga, Cole, J. Cole, bro. I hate this bro, nigga. <laughs> and the reason is because I loved everything about the whole career, nigga. the trajectory, the dude's legacy, home. all that. And now you said, I'm sorry. Uh, before a nigga even did anything. A nigga did this. And yeah. He, ah! Yeah. Man, what's this page? <laughs> That's up, bro. I hate this, bro. You don't understand. You don't understand. It got me tight when no. I seen that shit, bro. My heart. Nigga, I didn't bro, believe buddy. it when nigga said he apologized. I, I was like, I don't fucking. I know what? I was like, I was like, man, what the I fuck? got on the shit. I was like, and I get it. Protect your peace, my nigga. Protect your In peace. In that part, one hundred percent. But don't jump out don't there for sorry. violence. Look. I don't, I don't fucking get it. He couldn't even protect his piece and say, yo, after I did that shit, it didn't sit right with me. It didn't sit well with my spirit. And I wish I never did it. And then did the next song. Left it there. Just leave it there. Just leave it there. I think he just had a bad, I mean, bad selection of words, bro. Like, it's the way you could have worded it if, you know, had it make sense. No, don't apologize. What are you doing? If you, if you feel some type of way about the diss... If you feel like you ain't mean that shit, don't apologize to the public. You call Kendrick. Call Kendrick backstage. Hey, my nigga, this is what it was. Look, I feel bad about it. Like, just talk all your shit. No, I, I hate this nigga. I don't know, bro. Would you have apologized? No. All right, then, nigga, you fucking know. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it's some shit, bro. I, I, told, I tell people, I say, bro, some shit you just got to take to the grave. Yeah. I mean, you got to live with that. Everybody got my, a body that got to take to the grave. You got it, bro. If you go through with something, bro, and you make your mistake, bro, take, make that mistake. Make mistake. Even if Kendrick would have came and ripped this nigga a new one, yeah, I don't so think. I don't think. It, I don't think it, either he was. I don't know what the situation. Maybe is. he just didn't want to have to do a whole like six diss track trilogy. I don't know. <laughs> I think somebody told him not to. They, somebody and his was on his lines, his bro. Ear. It had to be somebody on his team or on Kendrick. It had to be some. It was honestly. The I think if anything, it was somebody about the money. It was like, look, we on a run. Yeah. We got yeah. the number ones. Nah. We do not want some Fugazi shit to happen. It look was at some 50 commercial Cent shit that happened. Like, the yeah. careers he ended. Look at Pusha T. Like, this is not good for business unless you demolish. And He, he didn't have to say anything, though. There was nothing in, in that like well, that disc. I'm trying to rationalize. That required to him to say anything. Nigga. Look, this you nigga look said... If that he, part, too. If he walk around with that stick and ain't Andre 3K. Now... That's a nice line, I get it, but everybody was hyping it up like, oh, okay, nigga, he's not Andre Three K, he's J Cole. What the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, he didn't say anything yeah. that warranted J Cole yeah. to come out there and say anything, bro. At yeah, all, he did. Fuck the big three, it's just yeah. big me. Yeah. That that's more of a like, you you in public and it's a bunch of girls and shit, and you say some wild shit. You mean, shut the fuck up. Like, it's that type of shit. I hear you. So Honestly, really bro, shut up. I don't, That's the only thing that The whole fuck the big three is just big me. He's just saying, like, it's not really saying, like, y'all ain't shit, but it's more still saying, like, bro, I'm the best. 
when you followed it up with nigga bum, it kind of felt like it was. Uh, that was hard. That was hard. Followed it up by saying nigga bum. Nigga bum. That's it. Uh, so, <laughs> that shit was, was hard. Also bums though. That's how I took it. Well, no, it I didn't. I didn't think, think, think he was saying bum, bum like b u m. I thought he said like, bum like. I felt both. Yeah, it felt like both. <laughs> calling the niggas bums. Nigga, double hey, you call entendre. me a bum, I might have to say you something. Feel me, nigga? Don't call me a bum. Double on time. Double on time is always the fuck somebody up though. Because you gotta realize he spit how long before you said nigga bum? Nigga bum. And he followed the nigga bum up <laughs> right after saying some. Yeah, shit but hold on. But him. then after, once he started saying bum, this nigga just started talking about Drake. Your it's best words exactly. Like, yeah. Nigga bum. Nigga bum. No, nigga no, bum. No, he got no, shot because he was in a car, bro. Like, Cole didn't have to say shit. Yeah, I hear you. I That's hear what you. I don't understand. He, saw, he was like, he was calling Drake more. I, he, Look, dog. If, if Call them dogs if me, getting beef, married. No, bro. If me and you beefing and shit, and this nigga with you, you might have to no, go I hear you. Too, I hear you. Yeah. Just because you, you in the car with this nigga. I, I was trying you. to hit him. Yeah. I hear you. You think... Yeah, no, nah, I hear you. I hear you. 100%. I mean, that's how it should be going, though. Yeah, I agree. There's I think, I think what happened was he was in a crossfire, and he said, well, shit. Yeah. He was stuck in between two places. I got to say something where I look like a bitch. Well, you know, but then he thought when he said it, he was like, man, my management told me I made a wrong decision. <laughs> I got to do something. And he just blurted something out. You know what I mean? You know how I need to blur some shit out? He's like, fucked up. He's like, why I say that? Too late, bro. You know, yeah. the cameras be rolling. That shit gonna go, it's gonna fly, bro, and everybody's gonna see it. You know, if, if it's live, that's even worse. Cause you can't even go into yeah, the footage. You can't, you can't bring that back. You can't, you can't even be like, yo, yo, hey, take that part out. So do you think he regrets it? Cole? Yes. I think he regret two he things. Regret now he, both. Re- he regret saying the shit and yeah. then apologizing yeah. now. Because I he's think- seeing the reactions from people that support him. Yeah. And as like, a hip hop thing, all hip hop was behind the diss, even if he was considered whack, even if he would have got eight. Nobody is behind the apology. Yeah, nah, bro. <laughs> bro, it is. You just played that, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Who? I've never heard a nigga apologize in a rap beef unless they fucking lost already. Uh, yeah. To me, it's so wild because she even Drake ain't do no shit like that. Bro, Drake, you feel me? Apologize? He ain't never right. do that shit. Like I said, this nigga stepped into a organized. Yeah. Already agreed upon fight. He agreed to the fight as soon as he stepped in the booth and decided this song is a response. Yeah. Punched the nigga in the mouth, and as soon as he saw that nigga's reaction, he turned around and ran away. Yeah. That's what happened. Okay. Unfortunately, J. Cole, I hate to describe you as doing that, but that's what it felt like. That's <laughs> what it felt like. I got my money on Kendrick. I'm just put that out there. I ain't got money on shit. I got my money. But this shit funny than a motherfucker. And I love the fact that Drizzy talking this shit. Hip hop is fun again, my nigga. I was gonna say that. It's so fun. I am having some fun just kind of like listening to some of the shit being played out. Yeah. Because I'm thinking like, bro, shit was getting boring. It's getting complacent. I love the fact that people want people want trying to like this is the this is the natural and the uh, the raw uh, essence of like what rap was supposed to be back in the day. At the same time, it was also about love too, but at the same time, it was more so competitive. Everybody respected each other, but guess what? If we go into competition, I gotta I gotta knock you out the way when it comes down to bars. Dog, we playing ball at the end of the day. It's like playing basketball. It's competition. And this is the thing, I feel like Drake don't take it that way. No, I, I think mean, he I, does. How do you think he takes it? I think he does. This is the reason I say I don't, is because when Kendrick first dropped that control verse. His response was, that's just weak to me. And he was like, I saw that nigga a couple of days later and he was friendly. And it's like you said, we playing ball. You can have friendly competition. Yeah. Nigga, my bad. No, I'm about to. That's one. Mm, you feel me? Yeah. After the game, nigga, I can't be mad. You dunked. You got ups. The fuck? You feel me? Drake was like. I think he put his most personal feelings into like exactly. everything. He exactly. Because he was like. If, and it's it always been somebody I like about him, The bro. thing is, I don't feel like it's in a matter of, like, you hurt my feelings, but it's like, if you want to talk shit about me, you can't be my friend. Yeah, yeah. So talk shit, nigga, but we not friends. Whereas Dot was like, nigga, I'm about to throw these jabs at you. We just, you feel me, sparring and slap boxing in the locker room. But when we get out here, like, we still friends. But I do think I beat that yeah, ass. Yeah, but see, hold on. That's the thing. Like, when you from, when you from, like, the hood and shit, like, you make fun of your friends. <laughs> like, you talk about what your niggas wear. Like, what the fuck is these? Like, what are we talking about yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, that's right, bro. What are you talking about? So, 
I think to die, this nigga just like, bro, we cool, but I'm going to flame your ass up. Yeah. That like, is if Drake roast, is like, nigga, we'll talk shit about me, you not my friend. Yeah. You know? <laughs> think about like a roasted competition or a slot box. Yeah, That's the like thing, that. bro. We I cool, hear. but I'm going to fuck you up real quick. We cool, though. I and Drake... It's different cultures, though. Drake I comes hear. off like... Rick Ross to call he wasn't Ross. around. He wasn't around like... You see, he called him what? Hold like on. street niggas. Wait, we said what? That's why Rick Ross called him white boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. It wasn't until he got older and he got a little bit of money. That's when that fucking street persona popped off. And I mean, to each his own. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying, they yeah. come from two different places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. shit going to be handled differently, bro. Yeah. All I know is Jizzy did his motherfucking thing with that song, though. No, so I, I enjoy the AI. I enjoy it a lot. I, I just, like the, the original. I be look, am I own to be conflicted sometimes? I be listening to shit. I heard a damn Kendrick song. The it was straight AI, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, this shit getting was, wicked, bro. No, parts of that was. No, fuck Black that. Itself. If you want to talk about wicked AI, the AI Drake album. Nigga, there's a whole AI there's a, that's fine bro. Here. The AI like, weekend on that yeah, bitch, him, the AI future on that bitch. I just said I'm not the biggest future fan. AI future had me lit. Okay, uh, <laughs> sound, sound with the robots, bro. But nah, there, there's one, there's multiple yeah. Drake AI albums. Yeah. There's one of them that's actually fired. You like, think that's I, actually I, gonna run the creativity? I'm gonna tell you what. I don't know. Something's gonna happen. Where it mesh. Where, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an integration. Yeah, um, and it's already happening. I don't know if people notice that. Like what Drake did was the setup. That shit. Yeah. So now he made this is what I was talking about with the game. He makes trends. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a trend for people to use AI with themselves. I hope they. I hope they song. don't do that. They're gonna do it. I think. I hope this is what I was already thinking, here, bro. It's I was thinking here. using or like say I, I like the AI Drake album. If I'm a smart, I guess Drake wouldn't the need to but an artist who's like oh ai version of me the song is better it's something i wouldn't have thought of but it's my voice and it yeah. all came from what i sound like i'm gonna make ai music that sounds like what people are listening to and then just remake it in my voice yeah yeah i can even write the give the song my yeah. lyrics and say make them better but doesn't doesn't part of like the the wholeness, the completion, being the one to say this shit, writing. I'm not down. saying to leave it at AI saying it. To listen to AI yeah. as a reference track. Okay. And then go remake it. Okay. Well, it's my old shit I'm and a, technically my voice. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna. Now get, I just gotta copy the way they made me sound. What's gonna get tricky is when people start. Okay, so for one, royalties. We have this shit where people get paid. They use a computer. I don't shit. gotta pay it. Well, when you copy somebody else's voice, yeah, that's not a question. Be a little, yeah, you know what I mean. You see, I doubt highly that song Drake dropped is going on any streaming platform. Uh, Elon, I don't know yet. Elon Musk's wife, whatever her name is, I don't know that. She, this is Musk. Nah, nah, she's a she's an Mrs. artist. Musk. That should sound <laughs> nasty though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ever say that? <laughs> this is Musky. Nah, she ah! she's an artist and she told she told some girl that uh use her voice for AI, just give me fifty percent of the publishing and you can use it. So there's starting to be deals where artists are licensing licensing. Lic- how the fuck you say that? I don't know. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. Um um I just I Bro, see- my ex's brother was fucking all my shit. You said what's that? Why? Was YouTube? Yeah. I would, ne- I would never know. This is stupid. I haven't talked to this nigga in two years. Uh, too long, bro. Hey, I mean, he just, he just saw you, bro. He just, I mean, unless y'all got beef or something. I checked my Spotify for artists, bro. I got fucking listeners in Sweden. It made me feel nice. On Spotify? Yeah. You can see that? Okay. Yeah, if you, um, if you have your Spotify for artists, it shows you, like, the demographics. Yo, see, I haven't been, I've been, I've been working on this Afrobeats, uh, well, we're working on a few tapes, though. I'm going to do a huge rollout, and it's just going to be consistent. Okay. So I said, well, I'm going to just chill out making music, focus more on the artistry, make it organic, take my time. I miss the days, bro, and I ain't going to lie, lie to you. Growing up, man, when I had the most fun making music, was yeah. when it didn't, nothing, all, all this other <laughs> shit wasn't involved. You know, it was just about the music. So I was like, well, let me just take out everything else and just focus on making music when I feel like making music and not let it be about 
or how many streams is this going to bring me or you know what's the marketing campaign yeah no because if i'm thinking about these things i'm not focused on making the music you know what i mean um so i haven't checked <coughs> out cause, like spotify some of the changes they made and um soundcloud used to do that a long time ago or what still do it still do, do what it. you can see where your music being played oh yeah i like how spotify does their um breakdowns yeah yeah uh, i wish you know the apple that's the thing that apple missing they don't they don't break down that shit the right way for artists to see. What you mean? It makes it less appealing for the artists. On here, nah, but I'm about to off here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? Look. Oh. <laughs> nah, my fucking engineer told me that shit, bro. Because yeah. it fucked me up. I'm smoke everywhere. It's like, yeah, TikTok, they, they don't like that shit. Nah, bro, that's what this is right here. Nigga, I just was, used to like be on here, I'll go live in the yeah. middle of rolling. <laughs> All of a sudden, I look up, bro, and my shit off. And I'm like, the shit's not even on. I just licked it, bro, on yeah. camera. And I'm still, like, over here, so you know I'm doing something. Bro, I stopped going live on TikTok as much because I used to get thrown off that shit. And you see, that's what we were on when it popped up. It said your live is age-restricted. <laughs> we wasn't even doing nothing but talking shit. They got the bottom. No, 100%. We drink it. I'm not tripping. I don't really give a fuck. But no, that that's the... Oh, my fucking God. That's the thing with America, bro. They'll they'll fucking capitalize and make money off of this. Yeah. But then legalize and demonize well, nah. fucking the green. But it's pretty... What's that? The green? The green. The green? Yeah. But oh, it's oh, pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty, pretty... That's true. Lenient nowadays, though. I mean, in certain places, I mean, it's like... No, but, but like, it's still an issue, though. Yeah. That's what you're saying, though. Yeah, it's still an issue. Like, it's decriminalized, but it's still... It's up to you, bro. I'm not trying to get closer. Any... I'm about to use this tray okay, right okay. here. I don't want to be on. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to You said you're making an Afro no, beat. Yeah, so, like, that. right now... Leave 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 so, the reason I've been out of touch with a lot of our music, um, I've been really going off off, off our stream. Like, I'm going into Afro beat artists, so I've been really consuming a lot of their music and tapping in with a lot of their artists and a lot of their events, because... In order for me to have this organic this process that I want, bro. I want to be surrounded around the, the environment, the music, the artists, you know what I'm saying, the culture. Yeah. Because how the fuck can I make this music without understanding their culture? You know, so I've really been kind of immersing myself in that. Well, um, so I, look at Drake. Are you, um, you just making beats well, or you doing... Like, like, yeah, the writing and... There. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like the, um... I actually am starting to get into like what instruments they have. Yeah, I was about to roll, that's why. And making my oh, beats too. Definitely. My bad. No, 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 I didn't even think about that, bro. Uh, I was like, damn, all right, we're about to roll a fat ass lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, didn't even, I didn't even think about that, my bad, G. Yeah, no, I, fi- I figured that that's what it was, but no, we can just add in, that's whatever. Yeah. But so, yeah, man, like, I'm, I'm just, I want it to be an organic process, you feel me? Yeah. Um, I feel like that's when I'm going to start having fun again. Again. It got really like repetitive for me. You know, it's like, all right, go in, boom, record a song. All right, got to write. It's like I want to switch up my process. Like something that excites me, something new. So like, okay. shit, change, change the genre. I was doing hip hop, R and B, rap, right? And I'm like, well, let me try to do something different. Like, hip hop, it's alternative, but like hip hop, Afro, Afro hip hop type shit. How it's has like that been? Um, your writing process. Like, how has that changed? I think some of the words that I, I grasp onto, like, um, and it's crazy because I'm actually waiting on my boy. Uh, his name's Wasimu. He's from uh, Nigeria. Okay. And uh, me and him, we made a single together. It's called Baby Cole when I was stationed in Hawaii. Me and him locked in during that time. He just joined the military. He's overseas and shit. So he ain't really got the time. So I'm like, all right, well, what can I do in the meantime? I'm going to consume a lot of their music. Um, just see what they wear. See how they, uh, how they interact. You know, so that when I do go to these places, I'm waiting on him because I really want to go do some of it in Nigeria. You feel me? Oh, you want to go to Nigeria yeah, and yeah. okay, no, I'm, that's, like, I'm one of them type of yeah. people, bro. Like, I want to soak like you want to be in the fucking I'm in it. Yeah, like I want to feel like I'm soaking it in. I get that. Them, you know what I'm saying? So like, um, I do understand their culture, but I want to immerse myself in it, um, and I want that to be part of the creative process. You feel me? You guys trying to make something right now? Yeah, hell yeah. I was going. I was just going to ask you about cooking up, bro. Um, you um, you you're mixing your own shit, right? Yeah. So when you're mixing, cause I just bought I just bought the fucking home studio. I bought my mic. I got my preamp. I got my speakers and all that shit at the crib. But I can't make 
the B is not the B. The vocals are either right behind or too much in front of the B. Make a pocket. Make pockets. So just like what no, do you mean? Like EQ. Make pockets. Okay. Well, no, it's. I'm gonna give you I a technique. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an easy technique. Put an EQ on the B. Oh, put an EQ on the beat. Yes. Okay. This is I'm gonna give you. It's called making pockets. Make an EQ. Put it on the beat. Okay. Duck in wherever your vocals are standing out. Uh huh. Duck it a little bit in the beat. What program are you in? I got Studio One. <clears throat> All it, right. That works for any program. Though. It's, it's not a matter of like being a right or wrong program, but it's a matter of what what tool you can use. Because in order to do what he's saying, yeah. you got to be able to find it. You feel me? Oh, like the the where his visually. vocals is hitting. In order um, to make yeah, a true. pocket, you have to see where your vocals are mainly yeah. at so you know what to cut out of the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. But here's the point. Oh, um, your question, though, is how do you get your vocals to sit right in the beat? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's either things. right behind or two or... I'm telling yeah, you right now, that's the answer. EQ the beat. No, okay. subtract the EQ, and parallel compression will also do wonders for you, too. Because, like, I got to a certain point where my mixes felt flat mm -hmm. and I would turn my shit up. It would be loud, but if it was low, it still didn't have that presence. Yeah. Parallel compression, changed the game. Yeah. It was a combination of like three things. Because first off, you got to just subtractive EQ mm -hmm. the vocal right to make sure that you're hearing yourself clear. Because sometimes you'll have extra EQ, or not EQ, extra uh, frequencies in the vocal that are just fighting your clearest tone and already in the beat so you're not clear and it's fighting the beat and so once you make yourself as clear as possible <clears throat> then you find the pocket that he's talking about in the beat so you have the space for that clarity yeah basically it makes your it allows your words to stand out while the beat is still present but you're not fighting for the same frequency because yeah. why is duck in these areas that your vocals sit it's like say it's your freak, your vocals are hitting between like two hundred or two thousand and thirty five hundred. It's like you see the biggest wave, mm -hmm. and then you go in the beat and you just go to like forty two hundred and subtract. It, that forty two hundred spot in your voice now, isn't fighting anything. Okay. Yeah. So you not, hear it clear. You hear it clear because that's what's standing out more. But it's still it's wrapped around your vocals. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? Like so you didn't change the sound; you just turned just, down, just turn it down part of in that beat. area. You so the me? part of your voice that was sitting there. And honestly, bro, that'll, that'll, that's how you can keep it loud and consistent, like. And even okay. for ad libs and other tricks, like if you want your ad libs to sit outside of the main vocal, you just EQ it a little differently. So the highs, you hear more of the highs in that one. In this one so it's not the same voice you're not fighting for the same space like space in the eq or the vocal chain nah the frequency spectrum you're not fighting for the same space in the frequency <laughs> spectrum because you make the eq on the ad libs or on the dubs what um what dog do different you use for, like, uh, studio one studio one yeah i never used that one that um that shit came with the interface yeah it came with the interface okay. and shit. what interface you uh, I can fucking tell you. What's okay. like? What color is it? It's yeah. black. Black? Yeah, it's right. a black box. Okay. You know the brand? No. The big knob? Is it a big knob? Yeah. Yeah. Pencil or something? You said what? A pencil or something? Uh, okay. Do you have uh, some beats? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm about to do Use before this. we got into that tangent. You need my keys or no? It doesn't matter what. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something that I can pick this wax up with. Oh, uh, no, that's right here. Bet. Uh, if either one of you got beats, uh, I'm in the mood to rap, Loki. That's why I was like, yo, let's roll up. I was Where's ready to cut the cameras off. Uh, cook, cook the same up. way you came in uh, is going to be on your right if you came in the first way, and on your left if you came in through the second is there way. A, is there a. Um, I'm just looking at the storage you got on there. What are you, what are you asking? At the convenience store. Oh. Uh, are you trying to drink? Uh, I was thinking about getting either. Yeah. I said, bro, I'm trying to drink more after that. So That's I what I was saying. I was, that shit quick. Probably get something else, bro. I, you know, I go grab some and then come back type shit. Plus, I want to get like some water, you know, maybe something to snack on type shit. No, I feel you. Usually, I have bottles of water in here and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, good. Today, I worked, bro. I had to be at work at nine o'clock. Uh, where I work at, the somebody rented it out, and so I had to be there to let them in and shit. Mm -hmm. So I came straight from there here. 
Yeah. This is my day off normally. Uh, I stop, you know, get snacks. Uh, literally, bro. I woke up like fuck. Thirty minutes before I had to be there. Hopped out the bed, hopped in the car. Oh yeah. I usually have tea with me and everything, bro, for the podcast. And actually, I liked how we just did that. I low key want to do something like that where it's just like free talk. You feel me? Free mm-hmm. talk with the boys. You feel me? Yeah. It's like doing the one on ones are cool. It's just. I like the group shit. It's cool. You feel me? It keeps it's more, it more it's interesting. More, it's more. It's more. Um, like perspective. Active. Yeah. And then like things can circulate easier, like information. See, the only time like one on one shit is really popping out, in my opinion. Is when stuff is already well thought out about, like, what we're going to talk about. what You know what I mean? Like, when you kind of go over some of it. Because now we both already know kind of, like, where to go with the conversations. Nah. But, like, I feel like... I like the... the it, depend, it, depend, it depends, but I feel like me and you haven't had enough conversations to really go there. If you, had, have like, you watched any of my podcasts? I haven't, bro. I'm telling you right now. Bro, there's been people I had on my podcast that me and them talked for two and two hours and 45 minutes, and we had never had a one-on-one conversation It before. can happen like that, too, though. You feel me? It just depends on the topic, though. Because my thing is sometimes like certain topics mission. are like... Bro, I'm a great conversationalist. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I've been on the podcast. I'll keep your ass talking, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? We didn't even get into it. You feel me? Like, we did the intro, and then this nigga called me. Yeah. And it's not that you <laughs> fucked it up. We had scheduled oh, for earlier. No, right? You feel me? Every, uh, multiple things got thrown into the loop. He didn't know that I was doing the whole open session invitation when he was booked. So he was like, can we do it later? I agreed. You feel me? So it was multiple things. Yeah, and once so- we started shooting, I was like, we should just do this next week yeah because we just started now somebody else was supposed to come back i thought i was about to leave earlier than i oh, am shit. you feel me so it wasn't you but i was just like yeah a lot of things going on at one time mm-hmm. but i just say that to say like i was saying we didn't actually get into it bro i would have kept your ass talking yeah no nah. well my thing is see i'm a great conversationalist too and that's why cj put us both on him that's it you feel me no, oh. no, that nigga didn't know me, bro. That no? was the longest I had ever talked to him. <laughs> we both performed at a show. That's it. It's like literally we really? showed up. We were sitting around in a circle how we are here with three other niggas. Before any of us performed, spoken and shit. That okay. nigga performed, we didn't talk again until he booked me on that podcast. And I ain't talked to or seen that nigga since. Bro, bro I, I don't say that's how that industry man. shit works, bro. My man has been a- It's all love. It's, I can't tell you I know shit about that nigga other than his name and that we had a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? That one time. It's like, yeah. I know more about you, nigga, yeah. than I do that nigga. Yeah. And I just said that to say, me and this nigga, what, we've seen each other like seven times now? Maybe. If yeah. That, yeah. Oh. Well, I used to work with that dude. Uh, we worked with a team it's called Nomadics in the studio we worked in. All right. Was so, it the one we did the shit at? No, no, no. See, something happened. So if something happened with the studio, it got shut down. Right? I thought you were about to say shut up. <laughs> no, hell no, hell no. <laughs> well, I heard the sound, I thought this nigga was about to say shot. It got shut down, <laughs> right? Shut so up. you smoke the wax? Are you asking me or are you asking him? Yeah. yeah. I ain't smoking today. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. that's why I wasn't directing yeah. it down. No, I didn't. But I, I am about to grab something else to drink though. Um I don't know if I should be going What kind of shit you like to rap over? Bro, I'm very versatile. It just depends on what's attractive to me about the beat. You know, if it's got good switch ups, if it's certain, it depends on my emotion at the time too. To be honest with you, I got a couple on here. You okay. guys let me know. I got some on my phone as well too. I got a list. I'm looking for it in my email though. I got a. Uh, Should have it. Um, I hear something I don't like. I don't say the frequency. Yeah, the, the HF, like the high frequencies on here. Uh, I didn't make the. Don't beats. worry about frequencies like that. If we think the beat is fire, we'll figure I get, it I get out. It. Bro, no, I, I, no, no, I, I didn't. Like, I didn't make the beat. No, I was gonna ask Gene a question about your phone speaker. Does it tell okay, you that sound okay? Is it your phone speaker, bro? Because if it is, then I'm, I'm just gonna disregard it. But I was gonna say like that. That tells me two things about the person that made the beat. They may not have all this shit in order, which would be easier. There's to nothing beat. wrong with it. You no, I thought he was like trying to preface that before, like, bro, like the high frequency. I think the shit is trash. Like I thought it's just really loud. Well, it it has something that don't work. It doesn't. It doesn't sound good to the human ear. That's all. Like it, generally, no, it's, it's um. I'd yeah. say it's it's a little bit higher through those speakers. 
That beats enough for me. But. Yeah, I just, I got a bunch of shit. I'm about to, uh, damn, I'm trying to, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to. <laughs> I had to stop like J. Cole for a second. Hold on. Uh, I'm about to cook. It was up. like when J. Cole went Super Saiyan and all Dre could do was switch the beat. It's like that is real sad that that nigga didn't really rap on that shit. But he still <laughs> was hard as fuck though. Close With that nigga beat it, boy. Beat it, boy. Like he still did his thing. You feel me? Yes, Cole yeah. outspit that nigga. But he wasn't even trying. He, Cole in his own, he was like. I think he did what needed to be do it done in order to finish the song. Yeah. I think yeah. he did the good like musician thing and just finished the song and didn't even try to make it about rap. But see, that's the, that's, the <laughs> thing that's great about Drake, bro. He he's great at making songs. Exactly. He's did a great songwriter. You said did I smoke in the bathroom? No, you were talking about. Yeah. It. I was gonna ask him the same question. You like, what you said? What, what about the Turn to your left is on the right. You'll see it. All right, cool. I'll just make sure. I thought you said, did you see I'm not gonna go right now. I'm gonna go a little bit. I got kicked out of the group home I was at because I, I got snoring in the bathroom. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was so like not what I expected to hear just now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took me a second to like fully register where I went. Well, you started talking about smoking in the bathroom. No, I got you. I got a bunch of business. Like, I get you beat back. to my like, no, nigga, I don't smoke in bathrooms no more. My producer, so I just... <laughs> I learned my lesson, bitch. Actually, I forgot, nigga. I said I was not doing this on TikTok. They ain't kicking me Are you on TikTok? Nigga, they ain't kicking me off They can't tell yet. what you're doing, bro. Yeah, motherfuckers. Bro, I promise you, bro. I got kicked off TikTok almost every time I... This is hard. This is beat. Yeah, this is beat. I got a... Bro, I have so many That's beats hard, you know? Yeah, I was best for the bro. I was best did you like that shit I was making earlier? Hell yeah. I like I like the vibe of the whole song, bro. I had a beat collection. That shit's open as fuck. Well, I guess you saw I recorded the whole shit. This be hard. I don't know if I'm ready to rap to it, but this shit hard. That's that drill shit. Yeah, you have to give me turn and hard to have some money shit to give me the rap. Why you been up so long? Shit, bro. Try and keep moving, you feel me? Try and keep moving. Yeah? Yeah. Um, just making music, bro. Getting in this bitch and starting a podcast. I'm pretty sure last time you was at the crib, I was saying, I wanted to get the podcast yeah. going. Yeah, bro. So, literally, just... That's like, what I'm saying. Because, like, any of the songs that I put out since Same. then, bro. What's that again? Turn to your left and it's on the right. Okay, okay. First door? Nah, it's the last door. Alright, bro. The door should be open. Yeah, it's, it's open. open. It's the one that's open. It looked like a bathroom. I know exactly what it is. I didn't walk over. <laughs> Alright, alright. But no, yeah, bro, that's why I said you spoke your shit into existence, my nigga. No, no, like, no, no, no. Last time we spoke. We had none of this shit popping. And, <laughs> and then the next time I seen this nigga, next time I seen you on fucking Instagram, bro, this nigga <laughs> had know. was on like episode number seven and shit. <laughs> I hear that though. I do hear it. Yeah, I feel you there. Nah, Dude, this bro. nigga ain't had no episode, no podcast, no socket, no, no channel, nothing, bro. Yeah, this nigga nigga no shit. logo, bro. That's what, like I said, bro. I said it. Yeah. I said it. I said it. I met that lady, bro. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. I got that beat, you feel me? I got to stand on what I've been saying, especially if I got somebody wanting to help the shit. Right. Like, and so that's what I put the list together, nigga, and I started filming at my house. <laughs> like, is, that where the, is that where it was started? The first couple, bro, was upstairs at my house that you came to, nigga. It was upstairs in the living room. Oh, shit. Yeah. And I just rocked like that. And then I had met this nigga, bro, mm -hmm. before I met you. Oh, shit. And I had been here connected. before I met you. And I just didn't pull the trigger. And then the shit went up. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And so this nigga opened a different space, bro. And nobody was renting that motherfucker. And so he started doing a deal. And I was like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, you running prices? Like, no, nah, dude. And then I was like, yeah. I'll just switch spaces. Yeah. You can cut the price, too. Yeah. I've been running in here for the last two months. That's what's up, man, nigga, honestly. I'm happy for you, bro. Like, when I seen this shit on Instagram, I said, that's what's up. 
Like, I, I don't never get upset when, like, anybody succeeds, bro. That shit makes me so fucking happy. Yeah. So to see you succeed and do what the fuck you said you was going to do, my nigga, yeah, like, too, that shit make me happy, bro. Honestly. Oh, God, yeah, too, bro. That's one thing. Like, even with the whole video, bro, like, we were shooting. You were like, I just can't believe you actually came and shot the shit. Like, I was like, nigga, I, what? He was like, yeah, bro, you made the post, but that doesn't mean you were actually about to take the time yeah. to come to where I wanted to for as long as I wanted to. Oh, my to. fucking God. I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with nothing, but I was moving my hair back. I cut my fucking dread Did you? on accident because, like, I was, I was combining a couple, but then they were starting to get... Starting to loosen where they was connecting, so I was about to cut them in half. to have two different, two separate dreads, and I fucking snipped them bitches all together. Like off, nigga. How? Yeah, because nigga I had the wrong angle. No, so it was these two dreads right here, but they they were connected. I was I was cutting them. I just don't understand how they went from the That's ends. what I'm saying. Like I, I understand cutting <laughs> them in half. I don't understand how they end. Well, oh, you was trying to like clip it. Yeah, I had it like, like, through, like this. Yeah. Man, what? Yeah, oh, you, I was like this, bro. How short? No, you know, but yeah. you would just cut it out got like real the wrong short. angle. Yeah, yeah no, so let me see the other side, though. Bro, you could really just kind of like, I mean, you no, can yeah. get a taper. Or a taper that no, shit. I'm just gonna let this shit grow back out. Yeah, yeah or do that. I'm yeah, I'm just gonna let it dread back out. But like, anytime I do this, like you was talking and I was moving my hair out the way, and I felt this shit. It's like fuck. It yeah, you. yeah, exactly. Bro, I thought I was about to go and put this bitch out of football. I don't even feel like it no more. This is, I really shouldn't be linking with the bitches. Why I don't feel like it no more. It was a no-no bitch what anyway to begin with. Uh, nigga, if your gut telling you that shit now, my nigga. Nigga, it's not even my gut. My gut, my mind, past experiences, everybody who know her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at her. I'm saying that nigga. I'm oh, cool, though. I could, uh, I'm going to be up to like 1 a.m. anyway. No, put some on. Let's get, it, let's get it going. Are these the same ones I played earlier? Let me see. I opened up the whole pack, you, uh, bro. You saw the old guy? Yeah. You gonna believe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Just last Monday, we was at the park together for a good four or five hours. <laughs> and you really won't believe what happened since last time we saw each other, bro. Did I have tell you at that point that this dude was hitting my line and talking to me crazy? About shorty? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right, bro, that shit continued. <laughs> and then me and her had a whole nother conversation. And she said, uh, he's crazy. I don't know. He's crazy. I ain't say that. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing that he said ever came from you. He's completely delusionally crazy. But yeah, nah, nigga. Oh, nah, my girl, said, what? my girl asked me. She was like, because I was telling her I was about to link up with you and shit. She was like, is he the one that... That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> because they got flying shit. I took her to oh, some... Um, I don't know if they still if they still talk, but we did some little poetry shit. And she was there, and then they got fly. No, you told me about that. Yeah. Last time I saw you, it was like, we was at that poetry event, and her and my girl was talking. Yeah, you so, see, I didn't even ask you what she said. You feel me? Nigga, I don't know. I didn't ask her what was said. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, she asked me that as I was going out the door, and I just thought about it. Yeah, nah, bro. Just last Monday. We like 15 minutes from the spot right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. But she don't live over there no more, apparently. But yeah, bro, like I got said, we was at the park together, nigga, for hours, and talking and shit. And nigga, she was telling me she missed me. And like I said, bro, the shit was just out of pocket. Because you seen where it was when me and you yeah. first met. And I was just like, it's a lot. She knew it was a lot, bro, and then she just started being extra, G. Because, like, outside of everything, all I got to say is, you lied to me about where you was going and stayed out past 12 o'clock at night with niggas. We ain't got shit else to talk about if this is what we doing. What? Like, if this is the conversation you want to have with me, what are we talking about, bro? Yeah. Because <laughs> clearly, yeah. we's not looking at the same thing. And if you want anything out of me... There's some things that have to be done differently than that. Yeah. And if that's not what you want to do, that's fine. But don't hold me to nothing. You feel me? So it's like, 
It's asinine, bro. It's asinine. Hey, I might go to the store though. How far is the store from here? It shouldn't be too far. There's, I know there's like a liquor store, store and a smoke shop by five minutes away. You know it's always one. That's how they do it, bro. Oh <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's where we going. <laughs> they put the bitches everywhere, so you gotta like you just. It's too convenient to not stay doing. It's a liquor store and a gun shop on every corner. Where the fuck is Silly. the bank's at? 